Well, Lauren, you know Fayetteville Street right here in our neighborhood is going to be ear to ear with people in just a couple of days. We can't wait. Folks around here, the organizers of this event, businesses around here, they can't wait either. They are hopeful that this is an event that reminds people that downtown Raleigh is just a wonderful place to come to eat and drink and spend your dollars. Businesses doing all of this with as much staff as they can, and they're doing this tonight too. It's a special night inside Young Hearts Distilling on South Wilmington Street. We have a special menu that our chef came up with, price fix. The balloons and other intimate table settings tell you they're trying to make things as special as possible for this Valentine's Day night. It feels like people are ready to come out, eat dinner, celebrate things and be out in public again, which we're really excited about. Owner Chris Powers decided to open up shop on a night they're usually closed. A night leading to a big week in the capital city. Everybody's just kind of buckling up, caffeinating, getting ready for the big weekend. The big weekend kicks off Friday right here on Fayetteville Street. Just yeah, incredible. Building, yeah. You've got him up here. That's where we met Jen Martin in the shadow of Jumbo Andre Svechnikov plastered on the PNC Tower up above. But we're talking about the entire, the entire footprint. So, so we're going, going to go down to the state yes, capital, all the way down to, down the to City Energy Plaza. Center. Jen no, is the executive Plaza, director of Shop Plaza, Local Raleigh, forever. which is organizing the local Fan Fest Friday. A day before the Canes take center and national ice over at Carter Finley Stadium. And just the opportunity to be a part of something that's really big happening in our town without having to be a part of it over at the arena. She said they're still looking for volunteers for Friday night and those staffing challenges remain all across the hospitality industry too. The Marriott City Center here downtown said they'll be fully booked for the game, but they are struggling to staff food and beverage which means they can't keep certain places open as late as they want to. This market has proven itself as being fully capable of uh, hosting major marquee premier NHL events. Scott Dupree is the chair of the organizing committee. It is the 37th game, but for most people in the building, it's going to be their first time. And I think that's what has made this such a fascinating event and had led to so much buildup and anticipation over the past year. So much build up, so much anticipation, and Scott believes that they are ready, that we are ready to roll out the red carpet, despite the staffing challenges, and those staffing challenges are things that really everyone in the country nationwide is dealing with. Steve, on the way out here, we have a fun fact for you. Raleigh is now the one of the only cities to have hosted uh, one of these outdoor games, the Stanley Cup Finals, the All-Star Game in the NHL, as well as the draft, the only other city to do so, one that is near and dear to your heart, Los Angeles.